Yeah, Washington actually has a lo had a lot of Yoshi's. Yeah, a lot now of them like you and died Dylan. out. Yeah. Uh, not Dylan doesn't even go to anything, so it's like hard to end. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Fuzzio was great though. Yeah. Yeah, we got Enigma still oh, running yeah. around. He has not mostly got kind of Mark. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're going right. Alrighty, stands you says. Yeah. Surprise. Color me surprise. Going right? for the win. You guys can me brawler did over yeah. the grand finals. No, it's gonna be me brawler me sword or me brawler Yoshi. <laughs> we talked it out. Oh nice. I'll be looking for it. <laughs> I like that grab. <laughs> I I really do. Oh, oh he's. Oh, I just dig. I thought I was gonna like down throw him or something. Yeah, that, I think like that would have killed also. Yeah. Jeez. Oh. Shit. Oh. Oh, he scoops it. That like, yeah, covers no. the entire platform. That's yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> ZSS grab is stupid. I hate tether grabs. I hate when anyone says tether grabs are bad. Yeah. It makes me upset. No. <laughs> Paging Pi- Oh, that roll. Oh. Oh, good Paging yeah, Pyre is right now. Stop complaining about tether grab. I yeah. get it's frame 17. <laughs> I get that it's it has end lag. It covers, like, literally every ground option. I know. If you, like, walk up to someone and press grab, and they're on the ground and they don't jump, then you just grab it, the yeah. whole thing. If roll away, then you get it. Like, yeah. stand in place, roll in, it catches it. Oh yeah, Tether Grab's underrated. That's stupid. Yoshi's Tether Grab is bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now that's, that's trash. Yeah, he also doesn't get anything off of it, yeah. so it's like... it doesn't actually cover stuff, it's not long. Yeah, it's oh, short, it's laggy. Oh. His Pivot Grab and Brawl was actually really good, but they increased the lag on it. Brawl? I don't know. I, yeah. did, I didn't like... <laughs> the only thing I know about Brawl is the good characters. Yeah, it... I, I did a bit of Yoshi and Brawl. It, Basically, it's just like spam pivot grab, grab and A because it, it was a good That's time. Fun. <laughs> but back to the. Back to the. Alright, wait. I'll throw over. Oh, okay. and he just gets scooped. Alright, like 10% more until he dies with the pivot or yeah. he dies with grab and bubbles. Whoa, I thought this game would be over by honestly with how fast the first stock went. Oh my yeah. god, did he just punches it? That worked. I think that was true. Yeah. Just like that exact percent was that like. That was like really true, yeah. Yeah, I think that covered like every DI for no reason. <laughs> I don't know what. I don't know why. I didn't know. I think if he didn't DI at all, he would have got hit by like that weird middle hit that sends him up, and I think he would have barely lived that. Yeah. Tonga's like the master of the giant punch. He just masters like everything DK. He's just good at Donkey Kong, yeah. dude. <laughs> I, I asked him like why he plays DK. He's like, oh, I like DK. And, like, he just played him like through all of Smash since 3DS, and yeah, he has like no reason other than he just likes the character. He is I he is definitely the biggest character loyalist I have ever seen in my life. Yeah. Of I, any of any character. No, I've never seen him counterpick anyone. He has played one other character in Bracket, and it was one game of Sheik against Disorient back when uh, Oh I think this was before Ding Dong was a thing too. So ZSS DK was really bad. Like right. really, really bad. Yeah. <laughs> and so he he was like losing to Disorient and so he put picked Sheik for one match. And that's the only time. He also, in secondary's bracket, he's played Palutena and Falcon. His Palutena and Falcon are both really good. Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> Palutena, <laughs> what huh? What does that Wait, I just, <laughs> I did just a, realized he did like a, He did like a... It looked like he did a dip kit without an item. But it was like a cloud dick kit that goes like really far. <laughs> what was that? I have no does idea. Does anyone know what that was? It was like weird... There was no win box. Weird Luma You're right. action. Yeah. Ooh, no, oh, Oh, okay, yeah. yeah uh, I can Luma interrupt that? Yes. Luma interrupts it most of the time, but Luma was respawning, so it wasn't like you—you you interrupted at the start, right. but it, it respawned in the middle. Huh. So, all right, nice good back. Fourth row. Oh, oh gee, he just gets punched. That out. hurts. That's super that is, armor, yeah. That's like the, getting hit by giant punch at low percents is one of the most demoralizing things to like get hit. I know. By yeah, like oh, you're dead. Yeah, that's it. Wow. That was like 50%. Yeah, that was awesome. I'm gonna, she's I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quick. Alright. Yeah, Kanga putting in a very strong showing. I'm not sure, like honestly the ZSS was doing pretty well. Uh, but we all know Pokepen isn't known for always being optimal. <laughs> we might see the pit, the Jigglypuff, Corrin. He's thinking. Falco. Oh, I can see Fox. I think he's pulled out the Fox against Kanga. Fox is another character that kind of gets, like, bodied by Ding Dong. Oh, he's going Yoshi, just like we were talking about. Alright. This is actually a 
like Yoshi's best relevant matchup. It's like, and it's funny because Donkey Kong's like only like a few spots up on the tier list compared to him, but like, it's still like a really good matchup. Yoshi can just like down air him because he's massive and like combo him with up air for days. So, yeah, this is, uh, this could actually work out for him. The main thing Donkey Kong has on Yoshi is uh, anti airs, like that, that up, uh, up tilt we just saw. But, like, so it's like on Yoshi to approach, which Yoshi isn't great at, but he just has like so many hitboxes that just stuff out Donkey Kong. And he can just do stew and stuff like that. Yeah, like nares and defares. It's amazing. Uh, we did see, but like we were talking about, uh, we did see Konga versus Snoop uh, at Shankon. Uh, where he did fight like a really, really good Yoshi. And it took him a little bit, but he did adapt in Grand Finals, like 6-1. So, we'll see. Every Yoshi's a little different. Pokepen's very aggressive. And keeping him in the air with all of these up airs. It always takes people a little while to adapt to Yoshi because playing is really different. Yeah, see, see all these anti-airs. <laughs> That's really the way to play against Yoshi is just like challenge all of his moves. We, we got the Yoshi out, yeah. <laughs> he was doing so well with Yoshi and he got Ding Dong, but I mean, he's still 50, in the but league. he's still winning. <laughs> yeah. What is, what's going on here? I, he, he basically up aired him like from zero to like 80 or something. All right, oh, well, 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 I guess giant fun. Now, uh, here's All right, the yeah, thing. he's actually dead. <laughs> he's dead if he gets grabbed. Yeah. The thing is, Yoshi can't close out socks very well. Yeah, he and doesn't. Oh, that Oh. Player. Yeah, he okay. goes for an air dodge read, but doesn't yeah, quite get okay. it. Well, and he might be dead. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah that's it how was, it goes. It was stale too. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. All right, good luck. That was a, a good, good Yoshi pick. Uh, definitely the most like relevant 